Hola! So the latest update from the house is that we've started fencing the land. This is one of the biggest jobs we have to do and something I've personally been really looking forward to. The first day of the job is done. But they did a lot. And I don't know how they did it because they only took one 10 minute break. The reason that we are not worried about pine trees and actually ask them to remove any of the ones that were in their way. Pine trees aren't actually the native tree to this area. They've just kind of taken over from the forest that's below us. But the forest isn't the local forest. It was when they were doing like mono plantation pine forests all over Spain and they just take over. So this land was abandoned for three years at least, maybe more. And I think even before then, I don't think they would have touched any trees that were growing anyway so there are quite a few pine trees that are just like strangling the olives and here we also have processionary caterpillars and they've already started making the nests ready for the new season so also to try and get on top of that a bit because otherwise they can literally like cover the whole tree in what looks like cotton candy but isn't anywhere near as delightful so let's go and see what they managed to do today with the digger Hello. Personally, not much. That's not true, we're always busy. Personally, we're not doing it. And as you can see, I hope, there's only one more step to go. Um, and they will add the actual wiring starting from tomorrow, apparently. What they do is pick the hole and put the concrete in it. Simple, basic, easy one. So it still makes me a bit sad to see all of the like cut down pine trees on the floor and I'm pretty sure we already explained why we were doing that. And I don't know if we already got shot of it but I wanted to show you an example of the processionary caterpillar nests that are everywhere on these trees and one of, one of the main reasons that we wanted to get rid of the pine trees. And in some of the other trees we've actually seen some of the caterpillars already because I think there are two different seasons and this is now the winter season. So there are some that are already coming out from their nests and yeah, they are very dangerous for dogs and I mean even humans apparently. They can even make you blind. And they've taken over all of our olive trees and our olive trees were being strangled. Maybe I can show you one example where we haven't gotten around to cutting the pine tree yet. And yeah, you can see how the olive trees are suffering a bit because the pines grow really fast. There is this one here, is one olive tree in the middle, but it's kind of now surrounded in a circle of pine trees. I can count at least four. And another one over there is a pine tree. We need to look after the olives a bit and hopefully we'll plant some other trees. Aren't invasive species and don't have any nasty poisonous caterpillars on them. So yeah. While the guys were at the house working on the fence, we decided to go and try and find a gate. The idea is to have a metal chain link fence all the way around the land with a pretty stone wall entrance for the driveway. So, this is a slightly different kind of video. Now we are on our way to... What's a rastro in English? A rastro. God, is that disrespectful? It's valuable. <laughs> Antique. A second-hand market where hopefully we've seen three different gates that they have for sale in in the same place. So we're gonna see which ones we like and whether we can bring them back with us in the van. Good luck, fingers crossed. <laughs> fingers crossed. We are here at the second-hand market trying to find a gate for the entrance. So they have a lot of beautiful things here. For example, this is one that we came to see. I don't know if you can see the second curved one. 
but that one isn't gonna fit in our van. At the moment, the area that they're gonna make the entrance is like four meters wide, and this is three meters 64. So this would keep the, the size of the entrance more or less the same, but it's not gonna fit in our van. Or well, they have some other options that are a bit smaller, so we could make a smaller entrance, but then it means that if we need materials or something like that, that a big van wouldn't be able to make it in. So I have to think about that one. So let's see the other ones. So here there are two more. This white one, which we didn't actually see online before coming here, which is super beautiful and also comes with like the door, person door. And then the one behind it, I think would also fit in the van, but we need to check this, we need to measure. And they have two more over here, but I think this would be impossible for us to fit. And if we went for the huge one, we'd probably go for the other one because we like it. But look how many cool things they have. Do I need it? No. Do I want it? Yes. In the end, we opted for the curved gate, even though it didn't quite fit in our van. We really like it, and it was between that gate and the white one, which was also really pretty. But when I phoned to ask about making hinges for the white gate, because it didn't have any, and adding an extra post for between the gate and the door, we were quoted a silly price, so we didn't go for that one. We went on a bit of a wild goose chase, trying to find someone to transport it an hour and a half back to the house that same evening though, but somehow we managed. That's it for now, a short update this week, but lots of big things are happening. We'll keep you posted on how things turn out next week. Hasta pronto!